Um, I want to look at the survivor animation changes, but I don't know how long a lobby is going to take. Also, I heard Meg's hair is fucked. Which one's... Which one is... What is this? Doesn't even have a picture. Oh, Meg. Oh. Oh, Meg. I mean, she's always had shitty hair, but like, that is some exceptionally shitty hair. That's a look. The rest of her hair is like four feet above her head. Oh, wait, I can't look at that. Okay, we'll look when we go in the... <laughs> when we get a game. You like how it looks at something fresh and new? I do agree with the people that are saying it looks like it's mobile. It does look like a mobile HUD. She looks updated. Um. <laughs> yeah? You think so? I don't see anything above her head. I guess we'll have to see. Looks like she cut the top of her head and then decided she didn't like it. And then she threw some weave in the back to make braids. We'll hope it's a new map. All right, let's see about this Meg hair. And just in general, the survivor animation I want to see. I can't see Meg. <laughs> I know you guys can see her on your side. I can't see Meg. She is a silhouette for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> My hair! <laughs> My, my, um, <laughs> my hair, <laughs> it waddles like me. Okay, I should probably look at where I'm going, huh? So we walk really different. His music. Well, that was weird. We zoom in, oh my god. Why is she holding her stomach? Survivors have always held their stomachs when they were injured. Why does this music sound that bad? I do really like the look of the hooks on this map. I think that's a really cool adjustment. So I have one little tick, so that means I've been hooked to once, I guess. I still don't understand the reasoning for putting the generators at the top middle, though. I feel like I could still fit in the bottom left and we wouldn't have any issues. So I get what they try to do with the clown's music, but I don't- something sounds like busted on it? This is- the- <laughs> The hair. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> um. This room is so blue. There's a naked body in it. Has that always been in here? I don't think that's always been in here. I can't see what I'm doing. Is there a p Oh, that was a pallet. I didn't see it. Okay. Well, there was a pallet there. Yeah, the perks are big. Um, I haven't adjusted my in-game. Uh, UI sizing. These mannequins are really cool looking. They're creepy as fuck. I 
guess if you want to go around, we can go around. I don't know, his music just sounds kind of borked. trying to do right here. I wonder why they changed the animations. I didn't really have any beef with the old animations, but I mean, I guess this is fine. It's just... Please go away, Cloud. They said they wanted to make them more realistic. The icons being so clear, it makes you th me think that you have the Discord overlay. You agree, right? Though, like, the survivor portraits just look off. Mouse wheel down. We, we have to put the whole... It looks weird. That was a great run, though. Thank you. I think he's mad now. They wanted the survivor locomotion to be more realistic. I mean, I guess. I, I almost feel like the old locomotion was more realistic. This feels kind of weird. The survivor portraits are what make it look most mobile-ish. Why does the camera fall when you get downed? I don't know. That's like a new thing, I guess. So if I change my in-game down to like 95, what does that do? Well, that helped my webcam not cover up that top perk as much. I really... Oh, that's... Uh, okay, that's a breakable wall. My hair is working on the generator. <laughs> Uh, are they going to update the rest of the graphics to match the profile pictures? I don't know. That thing floating in the air is my hair. It's, it's Meg's hair. I just wanted to try it for a game. I just wanted to see... Try to enter a locker while crouched. Ah! Hold on. Where am I? There's a pallet there. And a pallet there. I always feel like I have more time than he... I don't know. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, that's a bummer. Hey, Beavis. So I guess they're they're trying to update Dead by Daylight. They're trying to. I guess make it look a little bit more like it was made in 2021 or something like that. Since they're updating the graphics, I think the UI will feel better with time. A lot of people have been playing for years. Yeah, I I think the UI will feel better with time. I want to talk about this when I'm in the game, though. Hopefully we get the clown. I I know everybody, everybody wants to like be pick and choosy about this. 
There is no way DDD is going to introduce a way for you to modify their UI. There's no fucking way they're gonna do that. There's absolutely no way. Why would they ever put in? Cause then you have to then code the ability for things to be put wherever the fuck you want them. There's absolutely no way that's ever gonna happen. There's no way. It is gonna be, this is the UI and it is gonna be where it is. Hey, look, it's the chapel. Yay, that means, so uh, I found out that there were actually three maps that were updated, Tomsy, not not just two, so um, yay. So basically, I'm gonna go into the UI because people keep asking me and I'm, I'm gonna try to discuss it while we're running around the updated clown map. So the UI, people don't really like. It's, it's different. People don't like change. My biggest issue with the UI like I've been saying for two days now, is that the survivor portraits do not fit with a the theme of this game. They look really out of place. They're in color. They look like the survivors are posing for like school picture day. And this image, I have it right here. This image has been circulating around and this is what I had been saying, but I couldn't like put it into an image. This has been circulating around on like the forums. Using the survivor adept portraits would look a hundred times better. You'd still be able to tell which survivor was which, but you would use the art that fits in with the theme that is already in this game. That was, I don't know who that was made by. It was somewhere on the forums or on Reddit or something like that. It would look a billion times better if you use that because right now the UI doesn't, it, it just, it's, I said this on Twitter, but it's not uniform. It looks unfinished. You have, and it's not as easy to see right now because I'm not killer, but you have icons that are like not transparent at all. And then you have other icons that are transparent. You've got different fonts that show up. I'll have to show you when I'm on the hook. Um, you have multiple fonts showing up. It just, it all feels very unfinished. And that's mostly my beef with the UI. I think I can get used to the UI. I think I can get used to where I have to look for things. I don't love that the generator placement is up in the top center of the screen. There's still room for it on like the left side, very obviously. Um, I'm gonna go try to mess with Bunny Mom to see if I can get put on a hook so I can show you the font changes. Can you please put me on a hook, lady? Have you been looping her this bad? Oh my God, okay. Okay, bunny mom. All right. Yeah, she wants her chase back now. No, I want to be put on a hook. You leave me alone. But yeah, the fact that there are multiple fonts. What on earth are you doing? Okay, so. I don't think you're gonna see the multiple fonts. God bless it. I just want to be put on a hook. I'm trying to make a video, Meg. Ah! Okay. So you can see that like some things are see-through. It, you see it a lot better in the killer UI with the, the killer um, hook icons. So I'm just, I just want to show you this. Do not take me off this hook. I swear. I'm doing this because I want you to see the font changes. This is a good time for me to show you though. One of the things I do like about the new survivor locomotion is they try to get up off of the ground while you're recovering. And I think that's a really cool effect. I'm not gonna go for my DS. The font, the biggest font thing that annoys the crap out of me about the new UI is right here. You're gonna see when I go into the struggle phase. Why does it look like this? 
Mouse wheel down and struggle are two completely different sizes, completely different fonts. I didn't need to dead hard there. I put my hand on the wrong key. That to me looks awful. I don't know why it's there. Um, so it's just, it's just stuff like that. Um, I, I think, again, I think everybody can get used to looking across the screen. You have to look across your screen in lots of different games. It's not just, you know, like in any shooter game you ever play, you're going to have like a mini map you have to look at over in one corner. Then you've got your ammo in another corner. And like, so I know that Dead by Daylight's never had that and it's not that type of game. So people are definitely going to be complaining about it. But I think everybody's going to eventually get used to the UI. That is not my beef with it. My beef with it is that the UI just, it looks unfinished. Like the survivors and all of that, they're transparent. Like you can see through them. Also the injured states, I forgot to mention that. The injured states, I'm not a fan of. Um, you can only see people are injured by a little glowing red light that if you're colorblind, you are never going to see that. Not in a million years. Um, I just, I don't, I, my biggest beef is that the UI doesn't look uniform. The survivor portraits look out of place. Use the adept images like what I showed and that would be so much better into the theme it would still look like dead by daylight it's also all very small like my ui i think is set at 95 percent right now 100 percent only gives it like a little bit bigger of an image i'm really surprised at how small all of the ui is like with the survivor icons like that since you are able to adjust it I don't see it even after you pointed it out, so I guess the game is not friendly to colorblind people like me anymore. Well, yeah, Dead by Daylight's never been very good with uh, people that are colorblind. All the auras and everything are red. But yeah, the, the way that you tell that a survivor is injured is there's a red outline that kind of blinks or like pulsates. As a killer, when I'm playing killer, trying to glance and see, that's actually pretty tough. Survivors look goofy as shit. I've said it a hundred times, but... Uh... They look like they're meerkatting. Meg right now looks like she's looking at Huntress like, I fucking dare you. I'll fuck you up. Like they don't look scared when they're healed at all. Meg looks like she's about to square up with Huntress. And then the, the injured survivor running, I'm not a fan of. It's like a stumbled walk kind of thing. It doesn't look like running anymore. But I will say that they, they um, they did all right with the healing from the dying state to the injured state. I think it's really cool. You like actually get up off of the ground. So, um, um, it kind of represents how confident survivors have become nowadays. Yeah. The, the upright, like meerkat kind of thing. I wasn't paying attention. Could you re-struggle please? No. So I don't know. Again, the map reworks, they add a lot of character. I'm still not sold on some of the maps, some of the loops. I, I don't like the breakable walls. There are definitely parts of the maps that feel very open, like very, very dead. There's nothing to do in certain spots. There aren't actual loops to run. There's just like unnecessary structures. It fits with the lore with the brave standing stance. Like they have faced these killers so many times due to the nature of the realm, but still not a fan. And well, the change will be more appreciated with time when people play with for a long time.